Hey guys, Jambo Comics. Welcome back to the old comic room. Got a few things to show you. It's been a couple weeks since I've been in the comic book room. Got to do a video for you. But uh, just a few things I've picked up in the last couple weeks. It's not a lot, but uh, it's quality maybe rather than quantity. I'll let you guys be the judge of that. I thought they were pretty cool. And we'll start you off with a nice Frank Bruner cover to Doctor Strange number 30. Uh, it's in really nice shape. I got this for like just a couple of bucks. So it was a good deal. And in my opinion, a 35 center Frank Bruner cover, Doctor Strange, Clea. And I think I already have that one, but that was in such nice shape. I just couldn't leave it behind at that price and thought it was a pretty good deal. And I, I got some uh, more early Bronze Age stuff, uh, like this Marvel feature number five. Yeah, it was a great Ant-Man cover there, with old Egghead there being the antagonist to uh, Ant-Man. And just a great cover, man. These things are really cool. I like these stories and stuff inside of them. And uh, Hank Pym uh, is showing his more adventurous side there. And the Astonishing Ant-Man. Marvel feature number five. The old picture frame cover there. Very cool. 20 center. Yeah, I like that. Thought it was pretty cool. All right. And this next book I got for a really, really good price. And I don't know why these things are not more expensive than what they are. This was World's Finest 212 with Superman and the uh, Martian Manhunter on the co uh, cover of it. A 52-pager, the old 25-cent 52-pager, and uh, just a great cover. I think that might be a Nick Carty cover, I believe. I'm not 100%. Somebody can tell me if I'm wrong. But uh, I don't know why these World's Finest don't go for more than uh, what they... Uh, do i mean like i said i think i gave like three bucks for this and not only does it have a great story with superman and martian manhunter but it also has some golden age backup stories yeah uh, and you know like i say a double size issue and it was in fantastic shape i mean yeah three bucks fantastic i'll take it very cool. We'll get that one out of the way, too. All right. And finally got a uh, another Incredible Hulk, number 147. And uh, this looks like a John Severin cover, maybe with Herb Trimpey also doing some work on it. But looks more like John Severin on this one. Uh, 147, Incredible Hulk, uh, cool cover, another Bronze Age uh, picture frame cover. This one had a little store, I guess they wrote September uh, 11th on it. Maybe it had some kind of store uh, date or something like that when they got it in the old store. But uh, it wasn't in great shape, but uh, still a uh, nice old Bronze Age Hulk for a couple bucks. I mean, yeah, I'll take it. And I'll have to see if I have this one or not. But uh, just a great cover. Great run. Love reading those. They are cool. They are very cool. And finally, uh, well, not finally, but uh, some Fantastic Four. 138. Nice Bronze Age. FF and some Medusa there on the cover. There you go, Anthony. Your favorite girl, Medusa. In the clutches of some kind of rock creature <laughs> that Miracle Man has dreamed up there. And this is a 138. Uh, more great Fantastic Four. Love that cover. Great cover. Uh, maybe a John Buscema cover. I think that's who that is doing that cover love it love those fantastic fours from that time period 
All right, guys, and finally, some golden age goodness for you and your peepers. To behold, this is number 34 from 1941, and a Danzel Norwich cover on the old Jumbo Comics number 34. And what a beauty. And I got this at a really good price for an early jumbo like that. You can see how big it is. It is a jumbo um, compared to a regular book there. Yeah, you can tell the difference there. I'm quite a bit bigger. The old jumbo comics number 34 from 1941 got it for like 30 bucks. And you say, jumbo, how can that be? Well, it's because the back cover is missing or at least 90 percent of the back cover is missing but uh that doesn't bother me any i mean it's an early jumbo that i needed for my run and i am still glad to grab it for that price 30 bucks was a steal in my opinion and uh we're trying to finish this run up and maybe i'll get lucky and find a back cover somewhere but man that's awesome denzel norwich cover and i like it little bob tied up there sheena saving him of course beautiful beautiful cover and uh he always did her hair like that kind of crazy but uh just love these early jumbo comics from fiction house this one had a, a lightning story in it which is really really fun to read i like those and midnight of course was a horse is Midnight Wild Black Stallion. Yeah, that was cool too. And I think this one had some Will Eisner doing the hawk maybe in it. And many others. Yes, it said many others. So there's a lot of cool stuff inside this one. And let me see if I can tell you if I wrote down any of the other artists on the inside. I didn't. But I did say, yeah, it had a great lightning story. And it does. So I read that. And that was it. That was a fantastic find, I think, for 30 bucks. Tell me what you think about that in the comments. I thought I did pretty good on it. It doesn't bother me that bad that the back cover's missing. The front cover's there. I mean, sure, I'd like to have a, a complete copy. It was 100% in great shape and everything. But uh, for that price, 30 bucks, I think that was a steal. And that's it, guys. That's the haul. I appreciate it. Sorry it's so short. Uh, we've been having a lot of things going on with the family and stuff. So hopefully get back into making videos on a regular basis here for you. I'm glad you stopped by. Hit that thumbs up for me if you would. That greatly helps me out. And I do appreciate that. Leave me a comment. I like talking to you guys. You know that. And as the beautiful, very beautiful, why, Dolly Parton. Dolly. Dolly says to subscribe thank you guys i appreciate you stopping by have a great day